Hi, right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss further into minimum and maximum values uh, and look at the extreme value theorem. Basically, I went over uh, minimum and maximum values in my earlier videos. So make sure to watch that in the video links below. Basically, this theorem states if f is continuous on a closed interval, closed just means that uh, the function exists at a and b at the at the endpoints. You can see more on this in the video link below as well then f, the, the function f, attains an absolute maximum value value f of c and an absolute minimum value f of d at some numbers c and d which are inside this uh, domain right here of this closed interval of a and b. So, uh, and also note on this, the uh, calculus book says that the proof is really difficult so it omits it, but intuitively it can easily be seen to be true when it, this is true. I could, I'll just show you some drawings to show why this is true. Yeah, here if I just draw a function out in this x and y coordinates, uh, let's say it starts off here, so we'll close it. The close is uh, signaled by this filled in circle. So it goes up like this, and goes down like this, and then goes back somewhere over here. So then at this point right here, this would be a, this would be B, so it's continuous, also the key point is continuous and a closed interval. I'll show you what happens when you don't have either of these. And basically, so you get something like this, so then, as you can see, there's clearly going to be an absolute maximum here. There's a maximum at C, and here we'll call this D, which is an absolute minimum. So there's an absolute minimum, and there's an absolute maximum. And another case you could have, because the number is C, and D, you could have you could have it at B, which is absolute max. Then these would be equal to each other. Yeah. Or in other words, let's say this part right here would actually let's say uh, continues further further down like this. Let's say it continues further down here. Then at this point here, our D would would shift over here, and D would equal to B. So yeah. So D can equal B. Uh, this this C and D are just any any value in between inside this domain. It could be equaling to A and B as well. And actually, another case is you could have two. Let's say the C, or you could have two absolute maximums. So you could have something like this. Let's say it goes something like this over here. And actually, something like this. Let's say it stops over there and goes back to this and stops over here. So as you can see, let's say these are two of the exact same ones. So at this point, we'll call this C1, and this is obviously going to be C2 right here. And in this case, this is an absolute minimum. This is a and this also a is equal to equal to d right there and then this is the b value here so there's many different yeah there's many different uh, ways of doing this but this theorem always holds as you can see it clearly has to be somewhere in between because if it's continuous yes basically but if the function is not continuous or the interval is not closed then the function need not have an extreme value or any extreme values right here and I'll illustrate this. So basically this theorem is only when it's continuous and these intervals are closed. Uh, so yeah, and here I've graphed out two examples where uh, let's say at this point is at A and then this is the B right here. So this yeah, this is not continuous right here and as you can see this value here uh, when you're getting to three, this is actually becomes this value here. So you never approach three since you never approach this maximum value. There is no absolute maximum here. Yeah. So then, basically, because it's discontinuous, you could have a case like this where you're not going to have an extreme value, and and the theorem does not account for this. So the theorem has nothing to do with this. And now, if you look at this case right here, this is an open interval. So as you see, there is actually no m minimum at all because it never reaches this value here let's call this one so it never appro it never actually touches this value so it's always getting smaller and smaller but it, like basically decimal point decimal point smaller and smaller but never reaches this and also it keeps going up and up and it never reaches this x value of two or this or any maximum value so there is basically, yeah, I'll first write the domain, the domain or the interval is going to be in, in an open bracket because you can't reach one and you can't reach two. I mean, you can't reach zero here. So it's going to be zero and two open bracket, meaning at one and two, they don't actually equal there. So you, this doesn't exist at zero or two. So it's open. And so then there is no absolute min or max. Yeah, and here I just write that down over here. So basically these are just cases if it's not continuous or the interval is not closed and you're then 
you do not need to have extreme values. But if it's something like this, as you can see, as you clearly see, there has to be the maximum minimum values, other than endpoints or or anywhere in between because it's continuous and the uh, intervals and, and it's basically closed. Anyways, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully you learned. You can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.